This video is going to be about using logging instead of println statements in your Rust program. So let's take a look at the log crate and we see we can do more structured output from the log crate with different log levels. So let's go ahead and bring in the log crate into our project. So the current version is 0 0.4 and let's go ahead and replace our println with a warn uh, to give us this nice logging output. So warn and there we go. Okay, so let's run our program and we'll see that we have uh, no output and that's because the log framework is a framework and so we need an actual logger to do the output. So let's bring in simple log. Simple log is a basic logger that we can use to get some output and let's bring in the current version which is uh, 0 0.9 at this time. So 0 0.9, let's check it. Okay, and okay, great. So let's go ahead and configure our logger. So we'll bring in some features from the simple log crate. Uh, we'll need the term logger, which is our, going to be our terminal output logger. We'll need some features for that. The terminal mode, which will say which stream we output to, and a config, which it'll need. So let's go ahead and configure it. And we'll need the log filter so that we can tell it what level to log at by default. So let's start by configuring simple log. And we're going to do a term logger and we'll use the init function and that takes three arguments which is the default logging level and we're going to set that to trace which is basically all output. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and use the default config, uh, but you can configure it to, to output different uh, colors, etc. And for our mode, we will send it to standard out. So we'll use the terminal mode standard out. All right. And we're going to go ahead and unwrap this uh, since if the logging doesn't initialize correctly, we probably don't want our program to run anyway since we'll have no output. All right, now let's go ahead and run this and see our logging output. And uh, Cargo will bring in the uh, dependencies and we see our output. Great, fantastic. We've got our warn and we've got something a little bit better than a printlet. So let's take a look at the debug and error, which are a couple of other log levels. And we can use format strings with these loggers. So. Um, we can say, you know, uh, some parameter that we want to print out. In this case, you know, something interesting and we want our output. And we can uh, try error and see what that looks like. So something bad happened and we want to report an error. Great. Let's go ahead and run it and take a look at our output. And we see our debug, our warn, and our error. We see nice timestamps and colors, etc. Now, generally in production, we won't want to see a bunch of debug and trace output. So there's a way we can cap it just for release builds. So let's go ahead and set the version to 4. And we're going to add a feature uh, that limits the logging to just warning and above uh, for release builds. And there are different features for different levels. Um, and let's go ahead and run this as a release build. So here we see the it's rebuilding and once it's done rebuilding, okay, we see that there's no debug message, there's only warn and error. But if we do a regular build, we see our debug warn and error. Now depending on what features you need, uh, there are different loggers available to you and you can choose which one makes sense for your application.